The Countess, 56, referring to periods outside of lockdown and strict COVID-19 protocol, described the great benefits of living 11 miles from Her Majesty, 95. Prince Edward, 57, and his family have lived at Bagshot Park House in Surrey for more than 20 years. It boasts 120 rooms with regal interiors and striking ornaments, and is one of the largest royal residences that is not a main property of Queen Elizabeth II. The couple moved there after their wedding in 1999, and in recent years Prince Edward extended the lease for more than a century. Lady Louise, 17, and James, Viscount 7, 13, enjoy Grade II listed buildings 51 acres of land, along with the lake and multiple stables. The initial lodge was built in the 1630s as part of a series of smaller lodges for King Charles. It has an estimated value of £30 million. The property is also located just 11 miles away from Windsor Castle, so Prince Edward and his family can visit the Queen often. Speaking to Sky News, Sophie once said, We're a lot more fortunate because we live so close to the Queen, so when she spends a lot of time at Windsor on the weekends, our children are more fortunate because they can go over and have tea with her on a regular basis. The Countess recently took on a new role passed on to her by the Queen's cousin, Princess Alexandra. Princess Alexandra, who has been the patron of guide dogs for almost seven decades, passed on the patronage to Sophie during a joint visit to the charity. Guide Dogs chairman Jamie Hambro commended Princess Alexandra for her work with the charity. He said, We are incredibly honoured to mark and to thank in person, Princess Alexandra, for her wonderful contribution over the last 67 years, first as our president, then since 1957 as our patron. We hope she feels proud of the organisation that has flourished under her patronage. From our first four guide dog owners back in 1931, we are now helping thousands of people with sight loss, of all ages, to enjoy freedom and independence. Addressing Sophie's new patronage, Mr. Hambro added, We're looking forward to working with our new patron to continue to highlight our work which enables people living with sight loss to live the lives they choose.